Hello everyone, welcome to Vidigya Explain series. The topic of today's discussion is PM Gati Sakti National Master Plan. So first we will discuss why PM Gati Sakti National Master Plan is needed. So this is important. So the large scale absence of coordination and collaboration among agencies have been a major challenge to time bound infrastructure project implementation in India. Very often these projects have faced over faced time overruns leading to significant co So in India, because there is no coordination between different departments, different ministries, different institutions, it leads to delay in clearances and all other permits that are required for infrastructure project. And that is why there is project, there is time overrun, the time overrun of project and therefore there's increased cost of the project. And this becomes a challenging issue and because it affects the connectivity, it affects the connectivity, the transport, and because of this increased time run and increased cost, the investment is also decreased because no country wants to invest where the connectivity is not good. So therefore, Prime Minister announced PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan for Multimodal Connectivity is all set to revolutionize the way infrastructure and logistic development projects are planned and implemented. So the purpose of this Gati Shakti National Master Plan is for the to develop such a system where where the infrastructure where the infrastructure and logistic development project logistics development project are planned and implemented in India in a faster and smoother way so that there is no time over and there is no cost over it. so it will bridge huge differences between macro planning and micro implementation so now about the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan. So it launched in year 2020, 2020. What it is, it is a digital platform. So it is a digital platform, digital platform that connects 16 ministries. So there are 16 ministries under this platform of PM, PM Gati Sakti National Master Plan. And some of them are road and highways, railways, shipping, petroleum and gas, power, telecom, shipping and aviation. It aims to ensure holistic plan and execution and the and coming the idea of that bringing these 16 ministries together is that there is a holistic planning because many projects involve multiple ministries, multiple ministries and department. So if there is one platform where the project is there and ministries can coordinate, then project can well implemented and on time it can be implemented and the project can be finished on time without any extra cost. So with this, it aims to boost multimodal connectivity and drive down logistic cost. So it aims to boost multimodal. Multimodal means here that road, railway, and then road, railway, waterway, airway, air transport. So this is multimodal connectivity. And through this project implement, through this plan, the project implementation will become easier and the projects will be implemented completed faster. Therefore, it will drive down the logistic cost because when there is a better infrastructure, when better infrastructure, so the delay logistics, the delay in the transport, delay in the transport will reduce and therefore logistic cost will also re reduce. So PM Gati Shakti will cover the infrastructure projects worth over rupees 500 crores of various ministries of union and state government. So it will cover the project which are worth over 500 crores. So projects like Bharat Mala, Sagar Mala, Bharat Mala is related to roads and highways. Sagar Mala is related to uh, ports and ports and other uh, inland shipping, inland shipping transportation and inland waterways. So Udan is there, Ude Deshkam, Nagrik. So there are multiple projects that can come under this plan. So now we'll discuss about more about this portal. The portal will also allow various government departments to track in real time at one centralized place, the progress of various projects. So there are projects which involve numerous ministries, ministry one, ministry two, ministry three. So under this portal, this project is there and the progress is also recorded in this. So these different, different ministries can track the prog implementation and can track the progress of the project. The portal will offer 200 layers layers of geospatial data, including on existing infrastructure such as road, highway, railway, and toll plaza, as well as geographic information about forest. So this so this portal will also provide different different information related to from where highway goes, rail goes, about toll plaza, about and forest information related to forest river. So it will help in like getting information at one centralized place and where the ministries, where the different, different departments can coordinate as per the data available. 
significance through this different departments will be able to prioritize their project through cross sectoral integration so for example if a road is passing through if a road has if a highway has to pass from this here here there is a forest here a river passes and here an industrial area so various ministries are involved so when there is a one platform where these three ministry and this highway ministry can coordinate and collaborate that how this project needs to be passed so that minimum destruction minimum loss can be caused to uh, this industry this river and this forest so that is why it becomes important and therefore when the project clearance is from all the ministry then the project implementation will also be fast now first significance is this second poor infrastructure planning include newly built road being dug up by water departments to lay pipe this has badly affected the road infrastructure and movement of the country so what we see that once this road is constructed and after some point of time this another water department or electricity department or internet department comes and dug the road and put their pipes inside them so it it destruct is destroys the existing infrastructure so when let's say now when this project has this road has to be this road has to be made and now this ministry home ministry this ministry of highways roads and highway will will coordinate will coordinate with internet Depa department of telecommunication and department of gas ministry of gas and other ministry that okay we are passing this we are making this road do you have any thing that you want that there is any project related to putting water pipeline or internet internet cable so now this this will be this will be clarified and once if there is a requirement then first this ministry will do their task and then from there after that that the road will be constructed so this will not this will not later come into effect that now later this government these ministries and department come that we have to put rail we have to put internet lines we have to put for water pipelines or gas pipelines so this will be this will be this can be protected also logistic cost because of the poor infrastructure logistic cost in india about 13 to 14 percent of gdp as against 7 to 8 percent of gdp in developed economy so we have almost double the logistic cost as compared to developed economy so high logistic cost impact cost structure within the economy and also make it more expensive for exporters to ship merchandise to a buyer so because of high because of the high logistic cost the price the pr price of the products increases and therefore makes it uncompetitive in the market Point number four, sorry, this is two, this is three, this is four. It will also boost last mile connectivity. So when the when there are multiple ministries combined together, then they will also share that this, this is the area, this is the forest area where there is transportation required. And then, then it can coordinate with the Ministry of Road and Highway. Then through this way, it and then Ministry of Shipping is also there that will they will also look into it. So it will boost the last mile connectivity and bring down logistic cost with integrated planning and reduce implementation overlaps. So it's all about it's all about creating infrastructure and logistical logistical development projects development project. And why? Because logistic cost is logistic cost is more because there is destruction of why because earlier the ministries the departments are not consulted so this is a platform where there are many various ministries and departments which will come together which will discuss a project if it's a cross sectoral project and then accordingly the project will be project will be taken project will be given to an entity and the project will be completed and this will ensure the cost is also less the time taken is also less and it will also help in creating a better infrastructure so that is the main objective of pm gati shakti national master plan so sorry we have discussed this so now we'll discuss the five important questions related to this topic question number one pm gati shakti national master plan was launched in which year so first question is it was launched in which year option 2020 2021 2022 and none of the above the option correct option is 2020 question number two in pm gati shakti national master plan includes how many ministry how many ministries are involved in this plan the options are 10, 13, 16, none of the above. The correct option is 16. Question number three, the logistic cost in India is how much percent fill in the blanks? Your option is 7%, 8 to 10%, 13 to 14%, none of the above. We have discussed that the, the, the logistic cost is around 13 to 40% of the GDP. Question number four, which of the following ministries are part of PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan? Your options are roads and highways, railways, shipping, all of the above. 
So it's all of the above. So you can just look into the ministries, though you do not have to remember all the ministries. Last question, PM Gati Sakti National Master Plan will help in which of the following? Last mile connectivity, bringing now logistic cost, both of the above, none of the above. So the correct option is both of the above. So that is the main objective. So that's all for this session. Stay logical with Vidigya, your best pal in CLAD preps.